good morning everyone and welcome back to craft eccentricity it's tuesday and it would normally be a tutorial but as i said yesterday i've got another design team haul which is rather large and i'm going to show you that today and a few of the projects that i made so first up and i've already cut these apart and you have to um forgive me but i've got these magnetic coasters that i got quite a few years ago from uh, ebay they were really really cheap i think they were in a box of um a hundred or something for fifteen dollars but they're they're magnetic coasters so whenever i've got little things like this i'll pop them on and uh, just stick them back into a bag so this is the engraved cirque alphabet now i'm going to try and get close there it will emboss all of that design into it and you know you've got it the right way around when your swirly bits are at the bottom and your straight edge is at the top and the reason that i say that is because that is g but if you put that next to c can you see where i'm going if i turn that one around which would be the correct way you'd almost get confused but don't because you've got this bigger bit here so that is the engraved circa alphabet and of course it is the entire alphabet and i've just popped it all down onto coasters this will just go back into a plastic bag and i know where everything is right so that was first and <clears throat> i'm going to measure i almost forgot and it's just a fraction over an inch, I would say. Let me get that thing correct. No, actually, it's an inch. I'm going to say that the entire alphabet is one inch. And it's really, really pretty. And I have cut a few of them to show you. Next up, these are my designs. And I have managed to make two of them. And I'm calling these skinny decks. And the reason that I'm calling them that is because they're quite tall um, for index cards. So I'm deciding to call them skinny decks. And this one comes with the circles and the hexagons, um, which is perfect for doing your bumblebees and your stamps and your bee dies and stuff like that. And that is five and three quarter inches high. And uh, the width there is a fraction over three and three quarters so that is the first one and you get three layering pieces and then you get the hexagon and you get two circles and because you've got the frames you can also turn these into shakers and then the next one is the circle one now i created this for a reason and when i show you the sample you'll see why and i was thinking about all of the people that shop at dollar tree and um some of the dies that um i've got coming out with surprise creation are re what i'm calling recycling dies because you'll be able to recycle packaging i've purposely made them to fit specific packaging so here's the other one you've got the circle you've got the star you've got a burst and you've got two arrows now if you decide to use this as a snow globe you can uh, cut the frames but these bits here you can use that as your fence post and that as your arrow and you could stamp north pole or santa this way or anything you wanted to to sort of like cutify your index and the size on that one is five and three quarters and then the next one is a house one because who doesn't love houses and you've got three sort of like square type rectangle stacking pieces you've got the windows you've got a door and you've got a triangle roof shape and i have made this one so i can show you and you can once again turn this into a shaker if you choose and it doesn't have to be a house house you can take like a circle from here and it can be a birdhouse it can be whatever you want to so that is the other one and it's the same size if i lay them all on top of each other you can see that so out of the three i've done two but i am up tomorrow with more mx art project shares so i'll be able to show you more then 
and this one is a donut card and you've got this score line in the middle so that you cut your whole sheet of card and then just fold it and add your donut pieces now as i say it's all cut apart which means i've made it and i will measure that in um in a second fully made up but the length of it there is seven inches so it's just perfect for doing party invites or whatever you want to do next up i'm going to do this one as a tutorial and it might look a bit odd but you cut two of these and then you've got a handle and you've got a piece there that folds to make your handle more sturdy and you've also got a base and it's a three-dimensional cup so that's going to be in a tutorial um probably when i come back after christmas because i'm sort of like getting all confused with my dates and uh, I am going to take a few days off for Christmas so that I can be with my hubby. So, but that one will be a tutorial. But if you've purchased this, don't get confused by it. You need to cut two. And then you've got that hole there, that little centre divot where you line your two pieces up. And you swivel them out so that the other piece will come here. And then you just fold up and glue. And then you make your handle and you've got a 3D cup next up now this one is absolutely huge and i don't even think it's all gonna fit in oh it is but you've got a bit down there now this is an all-in-one fold up and it makes um a cupcake box now you are going to need a large cutting plate for this and if i think about putting it through a dye machine and I'm going straight on like that. That's how I'm going to measure it. And I can tell you that that is, let me get it at its highest point and down to here. That is 11 inches long. And then at its widest point, I've got to slide it across there and come down. It's going to be six and a half inches let me get it correct six and three quarter inches so you're looking at 11 by six and three quarters when putting it through your dye machine but as you can see you've got all your score lines there the whole thing just folds up the tabs go in this bit sort of like dome slightly because you've got these pieces here once again i'll do this in a tutorial i might do this alongside the cup so i'm getting them both in and uh, it will make a three-dimensional cupcake shaped box and that is the top of your cupcake right so that's that one and so i've got a box at the side of my chair today to make life easier and right the individuals i've got a cup with a splash of milk i am linking to all these so that you can see them You've got a wedding cage with the rings there and the little lovebirds. And you've got a little butterfly section at the top. I've got a lot of girls. These are all springtime and I can't really measure them until I've made them. And then you've got educational things like that's a huge smiling pencil. Turn it the right way around. And it not necessarily have to be educational. It could be for a crafty friend if you got a friend who likes to do colouring and drawing with pencils and then we've got a lighthouse rainbow scenery and you've got hills great for dinosaurs that's an exploding volcano I've got a set of little fairies but you know over the coming months I go through all these and you get to see them and there's your little fish and waves and that one is, I think that's a raven going into the moon there. Probably a nice one for a man for Halloween. And then we've got a, a lion rampant, as they call them, that you usually get on flags. And then we have a squid. So we've got quite a few masculine looking things here. Going back to Christmas, we've got an ice skating penguin. We've got a penguin in his little... I don't know, his little ugly sweater and his little hat. But as I say, I do link to everything below so you can go and see the images. Now, I think that's a bee and that's a picture of the earth. So we've got a bee and the earth going on there. 
and here we've got a little b this one would probably look nice actually on that um other skinny decks because it's got the uh the beehive shapes with it and he's holding a pencil going in more oh more bees more educational bees that one's a graduating bee and then we've got a bee that's reading a book more pretty girls lots more pretty girls there's one in a sort of i think that's a cat suit i remember those in the 60s <laughs> i've shown you my age <laughs> a submarine that can be steampunk or cute we have a wolf which is another masculine one really and you've got an arrow going through a flaming sun these are quite interesting icons there you've got a dragon i think that's a dragon a three-headed one so that's a hydra over the moon and then you've got a tiny little reindeer and then we have a little angel and there's her wings and then we have some pregnancy ones for mums so there's the pregnant lady and there she is different stages of playing with the baby so that would make a really nice card for anyone that's having a baby another penguin another penguin and get this the right way around this is another cute girl i do believe and she's got a little dress a little apron section that goes over here i mean like you i've got to go on the website as well there's one of the little fairies that fell out of the bag i just love little icons they're just great for adding to anything and here i believe this is a little flower girl because the hair is uh, shaped like a bellflower and you've got little wings so that one's going to be interesting to make and I believe this is another flower girl I've got this one here and then we have another little angel with her harp we've got a little gingerbread a little cute one in the chef's hat with the candy canes and then we've got a little i think that's a puppy looking at the shape of its face a little puppy that's popping out of a pocket so that's really cute and then i have a llama that's sitting in his hot cocoa cup so that one's cute and that one i believe is either a little boy or another bumblebee this one is sweet your little bird in his little house there that's a springtime one you've got a few flowers and you've even got a little sign that will emboss home yeah that goes up there to hang so that's a cute one and i believe that one is a little bear hugging a heart which is perfect for valentine's day and then we have another one and i believe that little bear is holding a book just grab some more here we've got a i think that's a little owl or a bird in a little top hat yeah it looks like a little parrot or something in a top hat now we've got cookies so I'm going to make these up for tomorrow. So I'm just going to put those down there. And then we've got cookies and milk. And more cookies. So I'm going to try my best to do those for tomorrow. And then we've got another lady. We've got a little gnome with his hot cocoa cup. We've got a girl riding a little horse and I'm not sure what that one is i think it's um a lady with a food mixing bowl ah little miss muffet that's what that is it's the nursery rhyme so she should have some little spiders that one's going to be really sweet to do and then we have a boy and then we have a little gingerbread that looks like it's fell asleep inside a bowl or a pumpkin and then we've got a bear in his sports car and we have a bear on the moon 
almost koala bear shaped faces I'm watching the clock here and then we have an awesome looking dragon looks a bit bedraggled bless it and another dragon which is nice oh another of those ladies with the baby and then we have a more steampunky submarine and that's a cute little monkey hanging out of a branch and that's really sweet I think I'm going to do that with the cookies that's um, a flat cup rather vintage looking one so I'm going to pop that down there and then we've got another cute little monkey gingerbread got a little teddy bear in a night dress getting really close up to the camera here and then we've got some really pretty little flowers there and leaves with the stems we've got an owl on swirly hearts that's a really cute one for valentine's day and she sent me that twice so i'll put that into the package for spring if you took part in the atc competition i'm doing another atc competition for easter so make sure you take part in that one and then we've got the flying fairy that fell out of the other bag and we've got a steampunk christmas ornament and i'm going to try and do that one i'll put that on the pile then we've got french fries always nice if you're having a cookout and you're inviting people and then we've got a very big love heart nightcap and a cute little girl and now we have a garden gnome another gnome and that's a steampunk vessel of some sort i think it's a boat almost at the bottom of the box and we have an owl on a branch another owl on a branch a cute little bird oh these are actually a set there's lots of cute little birds different characters there's quite a few of those with different expressions this one's my design this is um a love bug ladybird and on the antennae there i've got little hearts and instead of dots it cuts out hearts so i can try and do that one and then i've got some pirate ships and there's a yacht if you know anybody that likes doing things like that here we have a smaller donut with all of its icing and its sprinkles and things that you can pop onto there and i've got a sort of like galleon vintage looking ship i think that one's viking boat or another pirate ship and another little fairy with some stars these have all fallen out of that one bag and then we have um, a takeout box with um, oh what are they called those crackers somebody tell me below because right now I can't remember <laughs> how could I forget that good grief and I think that is sweet corn so I need to look it's either sweet corn or it's a cocoa pod because I think that's a bar of chocolate. Yeah, I think it's a cocoa pod. Yeah. And two little lovebirds, which are nice for Valentine's Day. We've got a sports car, another great one for the guys. This one is my design and it's a large stitch tulip. So that's great for cutting out a felt or just for popping onto a card. And this one is my design this is merry and bright on top of icicles and the idea behind that for me was i was going to cut it out and then just put loads of glossy accents and twinkly bits below and what else have we got oh we've got a steampunk fish i think it's a piranha with all those teeth which is quite interesting and i think that one is a santa claus and then we have another little girl and we have another gnome and right up towards the camera lens i've got another little fairy that fell out of the bag so there's lots and lots of those little fairies and i've got a little unicorn 
I think they've got their little Jim Jams on. And this looks like a Santa Claus with its own little snowman. And then we have another kind of masculine sort of icon. Right, I'm just going to clear off some of these back into the box so that I can show you the samples. Yeah, I think I've got enough space. And the first thing I did was I cut Joy using that alphabet. And I did it in Dollar Tree foam. And what I did was I used some of that, um, what's it called, that gilding polish that I said I had bought ages ago. And I haven't been using this stuff. And I just kept it on my desk. And so what I did was I just gilded the Dollar Tree foam. But look at the detail in that. I just absolutely love that. I mean, this is, you know, sort of like vintage circle and what have you, is one of my absolute favourite fonts. But if you did that and you just left it white and put it onto your book cover, went over it with some gesso and then some paint, um, your words are going to look part of your little mini album or your book cover. So I cut those out just to show you the wonderful detail in them. And then next up, I did that little greeting card note card which is the donut and that's that one but you get um, another circle with this that you could you know sort of print out your little invites and just stick them down inside and I've used my favorite little rhombus as sprinkles on top which are these and I just absolutely love them I go through them like water so that is the little donut note card and I'm going to measure that because it's made up and it's finished size there is a fraction over three and a half inches I don't know what its dimensions are going up there three and a half inches so that's the size of the donut note card and then next up I did um, one of the skinny decks the house ones and I used a bunch of stickers there that I just got from Dollar Tree, those dimensional ones. So you don't have to spend a fortune on stickers. And I actually used some Dollar Tree bling up there as well. So that's my first little skinny decks. So I made that one. And this one is the one that I wanted to talk to you about. Because um, most of us, we get our foam tape and our sticky tape from Dollar Tree. And the packaging is awesome. And this was designed, this circle, to fit the packaging that comes on the tape. Now, when I say tape, I mean this one. This is the stuff that comes from Dollar Tree. So you get that plastic divot in the middle. And you just cut that out. And it will slot straight through that circle perfectly for you. So that you can turn anything into a shaker. Now, shakers don't just have to be for Christmas. You know that. You can have a shaker at any time of the year. But there I've used Crazy Crafter, Paper and Ephemera. One of my glitter bows from Dollar Tree. And that snowbally stuff is also from Dollar Tree. And if you buy that, keep it tightly closed in a jar. Because <laughs> it just explodes in your face. So that is one of my very first recycling package dies. And I've got a couple more coming from um, Surprise Creation that will do other things using packaging from Dollar Tree. So that's what I have for you today. It was a huge amount. It can be a bit overwhelming, I know. But I will put all the links below and to the new release so that you can look at those images yourself. And I'm going to be up with more creativity from MX Art tomorrow. And then that will take me to Thursday. And Thursday is going to be the rest of those surprise creation dies. You have an absolutely awesome day. I'm going to go and rest my throat. Bye.